So I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, it's not a podcast, but it is a box opening. So I have been wanting to try out Yarnier for a little while now, but just didn't really take the plunge. Um, I do knit crate every once in a while, but I don't, even when I was doing like resin, like the Sophie and Toffee craft box, I wouldn't necessarily get every single month. So I, I like to skip around and try different ones and um, just kind of get a sampling, I guess you could say. Uh, but this uh, this is January's box, and the yarn in this box just spoke to me. I'm really digging corals right now. Um, so you'll see in a minute why I was mainly drawn to this box. So Yarn Yay is a subscription box by Vicki Howell, and each box contains not just yarn, um, I think the amount varies depending on the yarn, um, but some fun goodies. There's a knit and a crochet pattern so that no matter which one you do, you have an option for how to use your yarn. And I think for the most part, from what I've seen, the yarn in the box is enough to cover the pattern that's included in the box. Um, oh no, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, I did want to mention that one of Vicki Howell's um, points of pride for the Yarnier box is that she likes to work with women-owned businesses. I don't think they're all necessarily small businesses, but it seems like for the most part they are on the smaller side and they're women-owned. I think she also talks about working with like um, different groups of people too, so that... Um, other people are getting supported and having the option to be in front of a maybe a larger audience and get recognition for the work they do and exposure. So I figured it'd be fun to take you through the box. So this is what it looks like when you open it. This is the little booklet that comes with each box. And so those are the two patterns that are featured in, uh, uh, looks like this is box 33. And the uh, theme is button cowls. And what I think is fun about this box, and I mean, I think Knit Crate does it for the most part, they at least try to, but the knit and crochet projects are kind of equivalents to each other. So in this case, they're both button cowls, but there's different versions. Um, this top one's the knit one. Sorry, get some focus on that. And the bottom one is the crochet one. So this is the booklet that contains the patterns. Uh, the oh, it also does a rundown of all the products in it, as well as who the companies are. Uh, so the two patterns. Uh, the knit one is the brioche and buttons cowl. And the crochet one is the brambleberry and buttons cowl. And one of my goals has been to learn more about knitting. And I was torn when deciding which pattern I wanted to make because brioche is something that I've been hearing knitters talk about a lot lately now that we're in the cooler months. And it seems to be a difficult, or at least a more challenging skill to learn from what I've heard. And so I was tempted to do the knit one because that would give me the opportunity to learn it. But I really, the brambleberry one in this yarn is so pretty that I think I've decided that that's the one I wanna make. And you know, I'll still have, I was thinking about it, I'll still have the pattern so that I can go back and make it if I really want to later on when I'm learning how to do it. So this is the one, <laughs> this is the one I'll be making. I just think the texture is super pretty and I like that, I guess the buttons could be on the middle of each cow, but it seems like more people modeling the knit one have the buttons to the side and more people modeling the crochet one have the buttons in the center. And I just think that looks really pretty. So. 
that is what I'm going to make with my yarn. So I'm going to leave this open so I can talk about each item as I open it. So, of course, this is the reason why I wanted this box. This is Sueno Tweed in the color, I think it's just called Yarnier. Yeah, that's the color. It is a 69% superwash merino wool, 16% uh, bamboo, and something else. I'm not really familiar with it. Oh, cool, it's designed in Seattle, which is the state that I'm in. That's, I didn't know that. Um, this is, I want to say it's a I think it's a DK weight. I'm trying to see if it says anything. Sport. It's a sport weight. Okay. It looks like it's a sport weight. But look at this tweed. It's this pretty coral salmon color with all of these different flecks of like purples and pinks and yellows and grays. It's like confetti, essentially, is what is happening on this yarn. And so this colorway is exclusive to the Yarn Day box, and it sounds like this yarn in general is new. And they are releasing a collection soon. Um, this is... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, so the yarn is the Sueno Tweed, and then... I think the company is Haiku by Skasel. Get the closest look at the tag. So there's the Haiku part. Then on the back, it has this brand. I haven't heard of this brand before, out of this box, so it sounds like it's a bigger brand, but I hadn't heard of it, so I'm sorry that I. I'm sure I butchered that all left and right. Um, so I showed you the patterns. Uh, one, the knit one is designed, I think. Yeah, the knit one's usually done by Vicki Howell, I think. And then the crochet one, she partners with a crochet designer to create something specifically for the box. Um, so other fun extras. This is cuticle oil from Black Dahlia Lacquer. So it's meant to be, um, I don't know about you, I'm fighting dry hands once again. Come back, come back. Dry hands, and uh, now that I'm working more and more with fiber again, it's catching on everything. So I'm excited that this was included in the box, because I haven't used cuticle oil before. And I think that is one step. I'm always snagging on things, so it'll be fun to try this out and see if it makes a difference. And then, not finally, although I'm not seeing them listed here, there are buttons too. I don't know if she worked with someone to get the buttons, or if they were just part of the box, but both of the cowls have buttons in or included in the design. So I think there was wooden and some other kind of button with the two random options that you would get in your box. It looks like I got the wooden ones. I want to say the other one was like bone or shell or I don't know. But I like the, the rustic colors of the wooden ones. I think that'll go really nicely with the yarn and then also coordinate with some of the colors of tweed in it. And then last but not least, we have, it is the tote bag that has, yay, a new year, 2021, yarnay.com. So, it's a good size tote bag. I will definitely be using it to throw some projects into it. I have been using more and more tote bags lately, so I'm actively on the hunt for tote bags that I either have hiding somewhere in my apartment or new ones that like I got some for Christmas and they have been great for uh, projects. So that is the box. I'm super excited. I don't know when I'll kick this up because I have a hundred other things I'm working on right now. 
but I'm very excited to get this kicked up and make this beautiful frambleberry cowl. So that's that.